This is a 4.3 Vortec V6 GM, uh, somewhere between 1996 and 1999. Uh, I know that because it has uh, stud and ball rock arms instead of roller rock arms. I think the 2000 they came out with the uh, roller rock arms, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, I've just pulled the intake off, and um, this engine was supposedly um, so it sold, was sold to me full of water and oil mix because I had a blown head gasket, but um, I have a hunch that it's not the case. Um, I believe what happened was um, the infamous uh, Dex Cool got this engine. The uh, You see the remnants of the intake gasket right here, coming around here? Well, that gasket is, is basically uh, uh, disintegrated, and, and you can see it right here good. Let me show you this side. See how the gaskets are wavy and not really holding its shape? The deck school plat the deck school eats the plastic. There's a really good spot right there. So I just pull this intake off. It's probably original and deck school is what does this. It disintegrates the plastic, the gasket starts going out of shape, and then you end up with uh, probably right here water leaking down into the oil. Um, can't tell if it was here or over here on the other corner, but this is a classic example of, uh, there's another spot where the gasket's falling apart. Dex Cool destroys these plastic, it's not the rubber part as much as it is the plastic uh, piece there. And the Dex Cool destroys the plastic, disintegrates the gasket, and then you get water mixing with your oil, and the next thing you know, you're, if you don't catch it in time, your engine's destroyed. Um, my son has a 2002 GMC Sierra with a 4.3, and at about 120,000 miles, his car started misfiring. And I noticed that it misfired only when I was um, uh, steady cruising, which means high vacuum, which is when it pulls water in. So um, I knew that that's probably what the problem was. So I, sure enough, took it apart and the gaskets were failing. Felpro has a fix. It's got a metal. The This part here is all the way around is metal. As a matter of fact, I've got one. I'll show a video in a minute of it. But uh, the Felpro is metal, so it doesn't disintegrate. I still wouldn't use Dex Cool. If you change these gaskets, I would flush all the Dex Cool out and put in the uh, old fashioned green Prestone type antifreeze. So, um, this is, I believe, I found a Dex Cool destroyed motor. Uh, and here's pretty much the proof of it right here. So, thanks for watching, and I'm going to continue to tear this down. If I see anything else uh, inf uh, in, in um, information or entertaining, I'll sh shoot you a video of it. Thanks for watching. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, um, Felpro has a, a metal gasket that solves the Dex Cool problem, at least makes it better. Um, you see how it's got a metal backing? Uh, this metal backing doesn't disintegrate with the Dex Cool and it keeps the gasket intact. This particular gasket came off a, a 4.3 V6. I don't know what the mileage was, but it's uh, in decent shape. Um, I don't see any a whole lot of deck, maybe some deck school damage right there. Feels like a little bit right there. Yeah, this might be some deck school damage. See it's sort of disintegrated right in there. And the, the edges are gone off the seal right here. To me, that's deck school damage. So even the Felpro gasket is not a cure, not a permanent cure. The only thing that put, that's a permanent cure is to switch to Prestone Green Antifreeze or any other brand of green antifreeze and ditch the deck school. I just wanted to show this. Uh, this is what people were replacing with, placing the GM gaskets with this Felpro, but it, I don't think it really helps. So, thanks for watching. Get rid of your deck school.